Hello everybody, welcome to match day four of the Royal Roundup. Now, uh, this week I had my buy, so there's no match from me this week. And also the World Cup is still was still swamping me this week. Um, match day five, we'll be back to normal with highlights and everything. I guarantee that, Jim guarantee. Um, but again, with the World Cup, all I've got time for for this one is a look at the games that happened. Uh, but yeah, ne next next episode will be perfect guaranteed okay so first up was this thriller of a bye week um you know someone quit but um it did mean that i got an mvp on my block mighty blow beastman leveling him up so claw or tackle tackles more sensible to win games this season claw is probably better for his development in the future um undecided what to take to be honest but yeah, that was. It was really. It was. I was really lucky. That I didn't have to play this week because I'm still swamped by the World Cup this week. Um, didn't even take a screenshot of the league table, unfortunately. So, just just a look at the games this week. So Holy Boy and uh, Buford T Justice Drew. I mean, they've got to be two of the better coaches in Rebel, haven't they? I think. Um, Eleven nine on AV breaks. Forty four forty six. Two Kaz each. Seems a pretty wow good dodges for the lizards for sure, but seems a reasonably balanced match, doesn't it? Um, 32 29 35 and 35 36 27, so slightly bad well, not even slightly quite bad powers for um Buford T Justice there and. Good dodges for him too, I guess. But I don't, I don't know. He might have. He might have. They both might have agility four. I really don't know. I haven't seen it. But uh, your guess is as good as mine. But that looks a good MVP there, doesn't it? Skilling him up. He's ta already taken tackle. So yeah. <laughs> so another dominating performance put for Puppy here as he brings Muppetillo's early good early run to a. <laughs> Brutal end, 21 AV breaks to 4, twice as many blocks, loads of cars. And you know, this this is the thing about Orcs, isn't it? They do get to load up on guard, uh, horrible dodges there. Um, they do get to ho load up on guard and just choke you, 19, 14, 17, um, 35, 31, 32. So yeah, nothing outstanding dice-wise, but the uh, the killer... He's just the blocks in there, and you know he's got so much guard, so much strength. I, I did tip, I did tip this team at the start of the season um, to be up there, and it's yeah, it's the, you know orcs are super strong unless Claw annihilates them, um, then they annihilate everyone else basically. Now we have Ramhard ramming Razda hard with <laughs> a twenty-two AV rig to nine. Um, of about the same amount of blocks, <laughs> but just inflicting more loads of chaos, loads of cars, and uh, I guess that's what that's what did it. I mean, he's got a very rowdy team, has Ramhard. Um, good GFIs, but of course he did have sprint and sure feet on most of those. Only three skulls, 14, 19, 18, and 17, 18, 20. So you know. Wow, two four. So you only rolled seven skulls, but four of those were on double skulls. That's crazy, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I, I guess it was the, uh, I guess it was the, the bashing that did it. No real idea. Um, <laughs> it does suck not watching any of the games, and I, I can only apologise. But we'll be back to normal from week five with a league table. Everything will be perfect then. And skulls had. 16 turns of headache versus Kedji Ruse there. Uh, about even AV breaks. About even blocks. I guess that's probably not a good sign for dwarves, is it? Uh, bad dodges. You know, I guess just they didn't get the removals they needed to dominate their drives. 31, 31, 32. Wow. 41, 27, 30. So actually... Bad block dice. Um, yeah, I would say pretty not good block dice, but if you get the key hits on the ball or whatever, and you know, it's tough for dwarves to move down the pitch, so you know, I guess there was 
that's kind of what happens. You know, the dwarves. If the dwarves don't get a bunch of removals, they kind of struggle. And then uh, the faster teams can can do them for a one nil. <laughs> and Wayne Farah man is the first person to stop uh, the coach here. It's taken him 14 AV breaks uh, to two to do it, but you know, 1-1. One, one. So at this point in time, I do know that the coach is top of the league with 3-1-0 record after four games, but yeah, didn't get the didn't get the screenshot. Only got a few more blocks in him as well. That was actually a pretty good block ratio for, for Woodies. Um, very good block ratio, actually. Loads of dodges and did roll quite well on them. Not Didn't do so good on the going for it, but... Uh, 19, 23, 14, not great. 27, 24, 23, not great either. So I guess it was mostly a lot of fouling there with three sendings off. Maybe got a bribe, who knows. Um, maybe there was a wizard in play as well. That's always an option, isn't it? Never sure about the TVs when I haven't watched the games. But um, yeah, congrats to him for stopping him. <laughs> you know, even though it took 14 AV breaks. Um, you know, I, I, I got more than that probably and uh, it's still lost. So there you go. And the last match of the week, uh, Gren Drake has beaten Hindi in a, in a Lizard Mirror match 2-1. I don't know how much Hindi's team were annihilated by the Dwarves, you know, presumably missing Saurus and stuff, but uh, still, that's still going to be 2-1 without, without getting hardly any AV breaks. Took a death, I guess he's not going to be happy about that. 49-45, so yeah, um, seems quite balanced actually, doesn't it, in removals. Will will the dice tell any kind of story? Really good dodges. But again, he could have agility 4, who knows. Decent boneheads, that's actually pretty average, isn't it? 11-2. Uh, block dice, 28-31-33. So, decent, decent, you know, good block dice. Not Nothing unbelievable. 33-39-38, and yeah, that's also quite good. Um... So yeah, I mean, I don't know. There could have been a wizard involved. There could have been loads of, loads of Saurus myths next game. It could have just been Grendrake completely outplaying Hindi. No idea. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. And uh, yeah, all I can say is stick with us till match day five when it will all be perfect again. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.